why is it so hard to maintain accurate provider information? Um, first of all, this information changes all the time. Uh, doctors are constantly moving in and out of networks. They're constantly accepting new, new, new insurance coverage. They are changing office locations and changing their affiliations um, you know, with clinics and hospitals. So the information changes a lot. So unless that doctor is very good about calling up their, you know, their, uh, their networks and the payers they're affiliated with, every time one of those data fields changes, um, it's going to fall out of sync really quick. Um, most doctors don't do that either. Um, so it requires the health plan to pick up a phone every couple months, reach out to the doctor and say, hey, this is the information we have on file. Is that correct? So pretty manual. Um, updates do come in. So health plans do get updated information, but they get it from a bunch of different sources. So providers provide some updates. So doctors directly provide some updates, which is great because that's the most trusted place to get the updated information from. But they get a lot of, they get a lot of updates from patients, too, who call up and say, hey, um, I, went to my, I went to the doctor's location that was listed in your directory, and they weren't there. So here's where I found them. Here's the, here, here's the correct address. You get them from third-party providers. Um, a lot of doctor's offices use third-party software systems. Um, those systems collect data about the doctor as well and, and can inform a, you know, a, a payer um, if an address changed or a, or a phone number changed. How can blockchain kind of reimagine this, this ecosystem here? You've got a bunch of health plans that all have relationships with the same doctors, and they're all trying to maintain the same information. So right now, pair A maintains a directory. Pair C maintains a directory. E, D, B, they all do the same thing. And, there's, and there's a, there could be a good amount of overlap in those in those. Uh, in those networks. So pair A may be trying to maintain the same information about a doctor that E and D are, but no one's talking to each other. So what we're proposing and what we've explored a little bit is um, using a blockchain to support a network that essentially um, maintains a master identity profile for a provider um, that is shared across all of their payer affiliations. And um, Billy raised his hand when I asked, you know, who knows about provider data because we, uh, we built a, a, a very rough uh, a prototype. And um, at the time, I think, we, I think we used like eight to ten data fields um, and used a smart contract to kind of house, house that information. Um, but the, the benefits here are that uh, you get synchronization, which has not existed. You get consensus around um, what the current state of that record is. And you allow providers to interact once with the network instead of having to go to five or six different health plans that they have agreements with and update that, that information five or six times.